Hi, I'm Erms, aka Undark and Wings, and in this video I'll be taking a look at some of my favourite miniatures I've painted so far in the year 2024. Please do like, comment and subscribe, it all helps my channel out. Starting off with one of my favourite things I've painted so far this year is this Canon S Diorama, Sisters of Battle, this is a Warhammer miniature. The Diorama base is something I've 3D printed. So these are just various different parts I find on the internet on places like Thingiverse for free. So I've got like a church flooring and then a bit of an altar at the back. I got this book and then I've got some candles as well. I really like printing out the candles and I want to use these more in some future projects. My friend remarked that this piece looks like something from like a canvas piece of artwork. I was definitely influenced by the wider world of art with this one, you know, like canvas painting. And as I always say, miniature painting is art, and you can be influenced by canvas painters and video games and other sources of media. There is some Caravaggio influences in there, and I'm by no means comparing myself to a great master. However, it is worth looking up his works if you're not familiar with him. He evokes a lot of rawness and emotion in his pieces, and especially with this style called chiaroscuro which means extreme light and darkness in painting and in art that's worth looking up as well just some slightly more pretentious ranting and waffling here i really love john blanche's artwork and it's massively influenced me and i really love the sisters of battle and anything to do with the inquisition and grim dark artwork and if you don't already know, recently there has been a biography about John Blanche's life that's been released, which details his artwork, his influences, his life growing up, and such forth, with some really good anecdotal things about people he's worked with and people he's friends with. If you already follow my channel, there's a good chance you already know who John Blanche is, but if not, he's very pivotal in the artwork and style of Warhammer, especially the Grim's Dark aesthetic. So moving on now to some more miniatures. So here I have a penitent engine. This was a bunch of fun to paint up. I actually think this is one of my absolute favorite sculpts from Games Workshop. I think it's so cool. I love the mix of like body horror with like flesh and metal and that kind of religious zealot type of style. Obviously influenced again by John Blanche. I have a bunch of these cool miniatures from the Sister of Battle range. So these like tortured souls. Um, these are going to be like a fun project as well, just to paint and not think about too much. I really like this style of these, so I'm really thankful for my friend who sent me a bunch of Sisters of Battle stuff that I didn't need anymore. I very much enjoyed visiting the Old World or Warhammer Fantasy. So I started off with Warhammer Fantasy Battles about 20 years ago with 6th edition. I painted up High Elves. I have a couple previous videos about that topic. So I've been painting these up like the box art, which is something I'm not super well known for. I tend to go with my own style, but just for a bit of nostalgia's sake, I wanted to paint these up like the box art and like the codexes. It's been an experience rifling through some of my old boxes and look at my old miniatures and painted them up, which has moved me on to this guy here, this Bretonium. I do have a video about this and I was trying to recreate my family's coat of arms and there are a bunch of like family coat of arms out there and you can get inspired by them and I had a bunch of fun painting him up. Uh, this guy was super fun as well, this Tyranid. I painted this up in the High Fleet behemoth colours because these are quite infamous for fighting the Lamenters. And you already know I paint up Lamenta Space Marines, so that was the inspiration for this. And I might do some more in this colour scheme as well. Lastly, I wanted to show off this bust, which I've 3D printed. This is called Game Night, and I'll put the link in the description below for this. It's a 3D printed file, and I really like this. There's a lot of detail to it and a lot of storytelling. If you're someone that mainly paints up, small wargaming miniatures i would recommend now and again painting up something different something larger like this and you don't have to spend a lot of money on them there are a bunch of sellers on etsy and things which sell busts and things like that and it can be really fun and like freeing to paint up something like that so in terms of future videos i'm working on for youtube i have some paints from aka interactive i want to review 
I'm looking forward to painting up these miniatures I got from Modifidius, the Fallout ones. These are very cool. And another thing I really want to try and tackle is painting these guys in my Lamenta Space Marine Army color scheme. Beyond that, I have some display level miniatures I'm going to be painting up for competitions. This isn't one of them, but I've been practicing a lot and trying out new techniques. And I've also been printing like a bunch of stuff for like some background photography and things like that. So yeah, I'm always constantly working on different projects and different things. I personally like working on something that's more difficult and more time consuming, but then also having some more things which I just like to paint up for fun or for my YouTube videos and so on. I'm trying to learn to not focus so much on the output and the quantity, but more about the journey and the things I learn along the way. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to support me, I'll put my Patreon in the link in the description below. I'll also pop in the link in the description below the link to my t-shirts, which you can get. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to enjoy your hobbies for yourself. Respect that people enjoy them in their own ways. And at the end of the day, they're just war dollies. I will hopefully see you in the next one.